Hello everybody and welcome to today's video. I'm Seanette and this is going to be my houseplant tour. So at the moment I'm living in my parents house in Cardiff. I usually live in my student accommodation but due to the current situation I am living here for a little while so my plants are here, there and everywhere. And this isn't my normal setup so when I go back to uni I will show you how I keep my plants there as well. But let's get into it. Okay, so this is my desk area. So you can see I've got quite a few plants, so we'll go through them. So this is a watermelon peperonia. I just love the leaves and just the shape of them is just so cool. This one tends to be quite thirsty at the moment as well. Um, I think it's the soil mixture that I've done, but I have got two of these. And this is one of my favourite plants. This is a boob cactus. I just love, <laughs> love this plant. I don't know why I just find it intriguing. It's just so funny how it looks. Just like a tower of boobs. Okay, next up we do have another watermelon peperomia. And then there's a cactus here. I'm not very good with cactus names, but I got this from um, Ikea. I call it Bill, Bob or Ben. Um, I had a trio and they each had one of those names. It's grown two um, babies from the top um, from where I dropped it and cut it. Then we've got a little tiny bonsai tree and then my begonia maculata. I faced her towards the uh, sun just so that she can get a bit more sunshine. But this is a brand new leaf right here. I absolutely love this. She's so rewarding because she's always pumping out a new leaf at some point. So I love, I just love watching plants grow. And then next we have my barrel cactus. The sun is really strong today. So I'm really sorry if you can't see them very well. Let's try and get a better shot. So this guy's pretty big. It had a baby um, growing out of the side as well. So what I did was I cut the baby off and I propagated that and sold it to someone from my uni. But I just love this and I've kept it in a nice round bowl as well. Um, I just really like how it looks. So yeah, this is in a nice bright window as well. Just love this plant. And next I've got another one of these. So um, this is a sedum burrito. This was on my uh, wish list for ages. And I was so excited when I got it from a pop-up plant shop in London just really really love how it looks and it trails down um, once it gets bigger. So this is my jade plant. She's actually got gone a bit red underneath the leaves. I'm not sure if you can see it but she has definitely grown since I got it. I got this jade plant from Tesco so sometimes you can get some really nice plants from supermarkets. Underneath here we have one of my casualties which uh, might die, Look, I reckon it'll die, so we won't go into it, but it is a type of begonia. And then this is another, I think it's a raindrop peperomia. Not 100% sure, but I got this from Ikea. It was really damaged when I got it, hence why it's in a bit of a sorry state. But we'll see, I'm learning to love it, but I did definitely want to get it because it was really cheap, I think it was like a pound, and I just bought it. And then this huge cactus again, I love this. I got it from a pop-up shop in London again. Um, I think it was from Jamie's, yeah, it was Jamie's London plant shop. And, oh, it's just so cool. Like, can you see the spikes? You can see the spikes here. And it's just like, it just looks so dangerous. I think that's why I love it. But it's uh, a really impressive cactus. When we go down here now, we've got my, one of my small Anthurium clarinerviums. I've got a larger one, which I will give you a better shot of. I've also got a, this is my Calathea orbifolia in this glass little terrarium that my mum gave me. It's been passed down through our family. I really, really like this. And this is another Calathea. Not sure if we can see them very well. I don't really like moving them too much because they're quite sensitive. There you go, you can see the leaves there. Another Calathea. And that was from Boma Garden Centre. And then... This one, this is my pothos, a lovely, lovely trailing plant. I got these as cuttings from one of my really good friends, Stan. His mother had a really large plant and she gave me some cuttings and it was really, really nice of her to do that because I really like um, this plant with the, with the uh, variegation on the leaves. Let me see if I can show you this. So 
you can see it's, it has got some really nice variegation and it trails down as well so I'm really looking forward for this plant to properly root in the soil and just grow. Another peperonia that I have from Tesco. This one has some gorgeous red undersides. I don't know if you can see that in there. There you go, you can see the red undersides there. Just about, the sun is really strong today so we're not getting really good shots. Might... Oh, there we go, that's a really nice one. This is a peperomia that I got from Tesco. The lovely red undersides there, it looks beautiful in the sun. And then next door we have a Alocasia Silver Dragon. This is one of my favourites. You can see there's a new leaf coming here. And then, oh, I just, I love the leaves on this thing. Look at this. Look at that leaf. Oh, it's just so exciting. I love seeing these ones. There's a brand new leaf on, on this side as well. You can see it's quite a bit lighter. So that one will develop over time. And then we've got my philodendron birkin. Again, the sun is shining really brightly. Let's bring it out from the sun so you can see it properly. Oh, I just love these leaves again. And then there's, you can see this one growing here. Let's show you that. Look at it, it's like got a little U shape and it'll pop up one day. I'll show you that on my Instagram once that pops out. I just love this plant so much. And then next to this we have the plant that I recently got in the post. This is a Raphidophora tetrasperma. Really love the shape of the leaves on this plant. Again, we bring this out from the sun. Look at those leaves, they are beautiful. And this trails up or down, but if you trail it up the leaves will get bigger. And it's got a few new leaves coming here as well. There. So I'm very excited about this one. Okay, so I'll just show you my little propagations. I've got some sedum burrito leaves here propagating and some from my string of pearls here propagating. I just leave them there and neglect them and check on them every now and again to make sure that they're doing a-okay. I have these shelves. These are two baby baby succulents that I got from one of my good friends Shay. She is a, also a plant lover and she is very much a succulent girl. And then I got these two cacti from a local plant shop back in London. Again, I'm not very good with the names. I'll try and find them for when I edit the video. So as promised, this is my Antherium clarinervium. It's actually two of them that I've potted together. I've got quite a few leaves around here. I just think this plant is so, so beautiful. And then look at this baby leaf that popped out this week. Oh, it's so cute. And I looked it up and apparently the leaves pop out small and then grow big. So it might end up being that big one day. <laughs> you can see the difference between this one and this one. This one I treated with neem oil. I wanted to see if you could uh, use neem oil on velvety leaves. It makes the leaf look very different and I think I'll do a soap wash on it to try and get rid of the oil residue because I don't like the way that it looks compared to the non-treated one but I know that you could treat it now and it's not going to make the leaf basically shrivel up and die. Um, well, it hasn't in two and a half, three weeks so uh, yeah, you can definitely do that and then just down here we have one of my little air plants. I'm not very great at looking after these guys. I just missed it. And then I have some pebbles on the bottom, some perlite, and I just put some water there to keep the humidity up for it. It was pink and it has gone back to green on the top. So unfortunately it's lost the lovely colour, but um, it's an air plant and I'm learning. So, And then up here we have my other Sidum burrito. Love this plant. Again, I just feel like it has so much character. And then when we go over here, I have a string of hearts, a variegated string of hearts as well. So this one's trailing down. You can see it's quite long there now. I got this one off eBay. Um, I really like the seller as well. They did a really good job. 
Oh, I actually forgot about my other string of hearts. So. Up here, I've got a macrame that I made. Really, really proud of that. And my other string of hearts, this one's got a lot more pink on the back of the leaves. I'm not sure if you can see that. Let's try and zoom in. It's quite high up. There you go. I think you see some more purpley pink there. But this one is gorgeous. She's trailing all the way down. And you can see that as she grows, they're extending towards the light because they really like the light. So that's why I moved her up here just so that she could have some more zooming out, <laughs> some more sunshine. So that is my office. Okay, so now we are in the room on top of the garage. So this is the room that I'm actually staying in at the moment with my parents. And the first plant that we have here, this is an alocasia stingray. As you can see, the leaves have got a really nice stingray looking shape and the stems are gorgeous. So if this will will focus, there you go. You can see they've got these amazing zebra-like pattern, um, very similar to the alocasia zebrina, which you will see in a moment. So this is the newest leaf here and isn't she gorgeous i love 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 this plant and i got this one from online baby plant so she's grown quite a bit next is another alocasia so this one is alocasia cooperia i am just in love with the color of this plant look at the back of that leaf that is just such a nice sort of pinky maroon she's got such nice metallic leaves if you can see in this the lighting is quite intense at the moment, so you might not be able to see it, but this is, oh, I just love this plant so, so much. She's so pretty. And this leaf here as well, she's a huge leaf. Oh, there you go. You can see the metallic sheen to the leaf there. Um, so then this is also, um, I got this one from Online Baby Plants as well. And the next one, shock horror. This one is also from Online Baby Plants. This is an Alocasia zebrina. So again, it's got very similar stems to the Alocasia stingray. Um, and she's also popping out loads of leaves um, recently. She's only got four because I've had a few fall down because of the move. They're very sensitive plants, these are. They like to stay in a nice warm place um, with very specific um watering and humidity and stuff but um i've managed to keep four leaves on this girl i remember the first time i saw an alocasia zebrina it was in a um a garden center in cardiff and it was quite large but at the time you didn't really see them much and i just fell in love with the zebra stems and when i saw this for like four pound on online baby plants and that's a rough estimate of how much it was I literally jumped at it at the idea of, of owning this thing but now you can get them in quite a few garden centres in London um, I don't know about the scene anywhere else because um, I currently live in London but yeah that is my Alocasia Zebrina so next is one of my favourite plants it's my Pilea peperimioides this is a Chinese money plant I just oh I love the leaves on this thing look how full I've managed to get this plant and it's got loads and loads of little babies and a few yellowing leaves. I'm not 100% sure why. I think I might be overwatering it at the moment because I'm watering them a bit more because it's going into summer slash sort of growing season. But um, due to the move recently, I think she's not a big fan of all of the water. I got this one when I started collecting um, plants. So she was quite a bit smaller at the time. She's now got two main stems, if you can see them in there. But I absolutely, I just love this plant so much. Just look at it and it's growing so nicely. I think she probably needs a, mm, I'm gonna let her dry out a bit more before I water her again. But, oh, love this. I got it from one of the pop-up shops that they do in London, um, Bergamot, or I'll leave a link to like their Instagram on the screen. But, oh, just, yeah, I love this plant so much. Okay, next up we have my Skindaptus Golden Pothos. This guy, I just love the colour of the leaves. They're so limey 
yellow color it, they really sort of stand out when you look at it compared to the pilea over here you can just see the foliage is it just stands out so much more this one's got like a little lighter stripe on the leaf there as well um, and hopefully this will trail for me and um, we'll have a beautiful big plant later on. I got this from a garden centre in Camden, London um, and I just, I love that garden centre. I used to live around the corner from it but now I live about an hour away and I just, it's a lovely little garden centre. This is my Hoya Carnosa. I love the leaves on this plant. It's also a trailing plant. You can see we've got one stem branching out here and it can have some pink leaves developing on this as well. I got this from Online Baby Plants again. Absolutely love this plant. It's my first Hoya as well. So wish me luck with the care for this guy. Next, we've got one that I just got today and there will be an Online Baby Plants haul on my channel where I opened this one. This is a Ooh, a philodendron scandens, I believe. It's got a baby leaf coming here. Let me show you. Oh, look at it. I'm so excited. Every time there's a new leaf, I'm so excited. I think that's why I love plants so much, because when you see a baby leaf showing up, it's just so rewarding. But again, this is a trailing plant. I'm trying to grow some. And then in uni, people like to get cuttings, so I'll be able to give a few people some cuttings once it starts trailing and it's a big, big plant. Okay, next we've got this silver sword. Again, I just love the different colour foliage. Look at it. Oh, it's beautiful. I have just, let me see if I can show you properly. Again, I just, I like having different colour foliage in my rooms. And hopefully this one will be big again. And then behind it you can see the next plant. So this is my string of turtles. You can see that each one of the little leaves, if it'll focus on them, looks like a little turtle. Which is why I got this plant, to be honest with you. Um, in the summer I went to a beach in Spain that they said was turtle beach um so turtles will eventually go on them and lay their eggs and it's got some tiny little babies so this plant reminds me of that holiday on that beach let me see if i can get it to focus yeah there you go you can see some tiny baby leaves there as well um again trailing plants i'm really into trailing plants at the moment um so yeah i don't know if i'm going to be able to keep this alive string of pearls i did manage to uh, ruin that but uh yeah let's hope that this one stays alive for me this is another one that i got today in my haul so not sure if the lighting's making it any justice right now it's in quite a dark corner let me see if i can move it up perks of it being on a hanging macrame hanging thing this is a philodendron micans it's got some beautiful velvety leaves and it is again a trailing plant i love how it's got some sort of orange hints of orange and unfortunately because it's moving the camera isn't focusing as easily but you can see how it's going to start trailing and um i've already got it on my hanging macrame pot so that Oh, let's get it back on there so that we can get this guy looking gorgeous this was on my wish list for a little while and i'm so happy i got it thank god for online baby plants in lockdown okay so into the bathroom now so if it's echoey i do apologize but this is just how the bathroom sounds this is my monstera thai constellation one of my absolute gems Look at the, the look at the leaves just oh they are gorgeous this is my favorite leaf at the moment i got this from online baby plants and i was astonished by how big it was for the price i think i spent about 100 pound on this plant and it's huge in my opinion i thought it was only going to be like that small but it's this whole big thing this is the newest leaf i'm very proud of it and i think it just keeps growing so then next we have this philodendron <laughs> Vericosum, lovely, lovely velvety leaves. 
And I'll show you the behind bit, but you can see there's a new leaf coming on it as well. This, uh, this leaf here, that's a new one. And then behind, you can see on this plant, it's got like a, it's got a red back. And let's see if it will show it. Will it focus on it? It won't focus. Come on, camera. There we go. You can see the furry stems and the red back to the leaves. I just think it's absolutely stunning. Again, this one was from Online Baby Plants as well. It's just gorgeous. Next door to that, we have an Alocasia Amazonica. Only two leaves left on this one. It had an absolute load more, but this one is renowned to dropping leaves and I've only got two left. So uh, not my favorite plant, but she's still alive. So uh, we'll give her props for that. Up here, I'm not gonna go through these in depth because I am gonna do a whole video on my alocasias. Um, but we've basically got black velvet, a pink dragon. We've also got a little begonia here. Beautiful little begonia, little baby. Didn't come in the best of uh, states when I first got her, but she's really furry and velvety. Um, another alocasia, Amazonica, Amazonica slash Polly. And then a prayer plant, but I have a cutting that I will show you more detail of, of that one. So I keep these guys here because they really like high humidity and uh, they're growing babies. So here is a small cutting of a Monstera diliosa, one that I had from Ikea. So I just potted that one up very recently. I water propagated that one. And then next door we do have a water propagation of a ZZ plant and we've got soil propagation happening as well of a ZZ plant. I've never propagated this plant before, so I am just testing it out and seeing what works. But I got these cuttings about two months ago now, probably. Um, so far, nothing's really happening. Okay, so over here, we've got my large Monstera Deliosa. This one did have a fungus, so I chopped it all and propagated the whole thing, and I potted it up around Christmas time, and it's got some new leaves, so... Uh, it's doing really, really well. These are two plants that died, um, but I'm hoping that the roots are still alive and we might see some revival. They're both the prayer plants that I will show you in a minute. And next are my Monstera Albo Buzigiana. This one is incredible. This one's got all of the variegation, but this one had some root rot um, on the node when I started propagating it. As you can see, there is a bit of growth there now after I fixed the issue. Um, but she is a lot slower um, and that's to be expected after root rot. This one's got a lot less variegation and she might be a reverting leaf. But I just really liked this just one clean patch of white. I just thought that was really, really cool. But this one, the roots are going nuts. They're properly, properly growing. This is my Maranta prayer plant, so the one I was telling you that I was going to talk about. This one is water propagating. I fell out of love with this plant and decided to chop it and propagate every single piece of it. I sold a few cuttings and then I decided to keep one for myself. So she's popped out a baby baby leaf, uh, but I think I've given her a bit of sun stress. So uh, who knows, but I gave them a cutting and that one's doing really well. So. Worst comes to worst, I will get a cutting from one of the cuttings I gave someone else. <laughs> and then the last one in the bathroom, this is one of my rubber plants. And it's growing so many, so many leaves. These two, the small ones at the top here, they're all new. And then you've got the one, two places where new leaves are growing from as well. So uh, I'm really excited about that. Got this one from Sainsbury's. So yeah, you can get some cool plants from supermarkets. So this is my philodendron pink princess. This is my favorite leaf coming up right now. This one, this is the one with the most pink. She's beautiful. She's got some, a lot of bright indirect sunlight at the moment. And this leaf opened up this week. If it will focus on it. It's tiny and the tip of it is a bit deformed, but I think it's because I've been moving around a lot because of this whole 
um, virus situation. She's got lots and lots of pink speckles on the leaves, so um, yeah, you can see it all the veining through as well. So she is absolutely gorgeous. So this is a fairy tale cactus. I got this from Ikea. I've got it in a stood up pot as well. I think I got that from Home Sense. I really like it. Um, I'm amazed that I actually haven't killed it yet. Okay, last shelf. We've got another pepperonia here that I got from Tesco. Do they like to focus on these guys? This is a north facing window, so they're getting a lot less light, but at least they're not getting burnt. This is another baby succulent that I got from my friend Shay. This camera does not like focusing for me. It's so, so cute. And it's they're doing really, really well. And these guys do not like direct sunlight because they just get burnt. And this is a variegated Pilea peperimioides. So you can see on the leaves here, let's see if we can get it to focus. There you go, you can see like the small, small white sugar like um, speckles. They do call it a pilea sugar. So we'll see what this one looks like when it matures. And again, CZ plant propagations. I did smaller versions to see if they would help. Um, and then I've got another succulent from my good friend Shay. Another one that doesn't like direct sunlight. And a baby cutting from my Pilea peperimioides and she's doing really well. Okay so that is all of my plans. I really hope you guys enjoyed that. If you have any questions hit them down below and I will try my best to answer them. I've got loads, a lot of them are new, well I think I've got loads, my family think I've got too many. Um, I think I just I just love them. I think that they're something to potter about the house and do and be relaxed during. Um, I'm pretty sure that the collection will keep growing. Um, much to my parents' dismay, being a student and moving everything back and forth all the time. But it's one of my passions and I'm going to keep on doing them. So give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and please hit the subscribe button if you want to see more plant content. I will hopefully get some more videos out as soon as possible. But yeah, have a good day guys. Bye!